Hello. Okay. You all don't know me or know about me or what I do. So my site is in case you didn't in case you don't know. And it's because if you don't know something, you can either learn it. You can come here. Because I know a lot of stuff. But I don't know everything. But I got a lot of certifications. And then for the ones I don't have officially, I have the back pocket ones. Joke, 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 joke. That's all it is. It's a joke. Anyway, so what these video, this video is about today is my nail polish collection. Now, when I say collection, these are just a few... I got some more out there outside of where I am in my craft room, which was a salon. I got some more over here in a corner. I got kits and kits upstairs. This here, this is old, but I've kept it for years. I got this back when I was in my teens. <laughs> this is how long I've been infatuated, infatuated with um, nails and polish. And even though I don't have mine done, my mom used to make me cut mine off all the time. And I feel like now they can't grow, plus I got wide nail beds. But I have a daughter, I have two daughters with beautiful hands. My oldest, though, she's going to have to be a hand model. And eventually, if you keep watching these videos, you're going to see how pretty her hands are. Because I'm going to do some demos on her. But today isn't about demos. And this, I just broke this year. Because I was trying to move my table around from the position that I had it in. So anyway, what this is, is though, is if you're doing your, your own nails or somebody else's, you put your hand here on this stand. Okay, let me grab a polish. You grab your nail polish. You take this off. It's a nail polish stand. Then, when you want to untwist that... And what you do is you turn this little bit around and it tilts your nail polish bottle so you can maximize it if it's at the bottom. This holds utensils. I'm going to screw this top back on and kind of let you all get a closer look. I can't do too much positioning with the camera because I don't want it to stop filming and also I don't want to do a whole lot of shaking. It's on my sewing table because like I said, this was my salon and I transferred it over to a craft room. So yeah, this is a back in the day. And I've just managed to keep it all safe and secure all these years until this year when I broke this one out. Now, I do have the other one, but it's somewhere over there on my manicuring table, which is stacked with a clay model and stuff and um, scrapbook and stuff and my um, Bluetooth radio CD player. It's a CD? No, it's Bluetooth, so you don't need CDs. I'm old school. But it has a radio and it has CD. So anyway, this held utensils. And yes, it's old. You can tell it's a little old, but it'll still do the job. So I'm just showing you that, I mean, I have a lot of them. I have a lot of nail stuff. I'm trying to see if I can get my carousel out without knocking everything over. Let's see. I was going to film on the table, but like I said, it has a whole lot of other things on it right now. <laughs> Old school Tammy Taylor sheet. Yep, took one of her classes. What was I? I may have been... Was I in New Jersey when I took that class? I think I was in New Jersey. <laughs> Okay, so I can't bring my carousel out right now. I can't show you all my old stuff right now because it's going to fall apart. So I'm going to just show you these new ones I got. And one of the reasons I'm showing them is because they are taking up a whole lot of space. And I'm trying to not downsize but maximize my storage space. So these, oh, I thought they were so cute. And I haven't used them at all. But they are still cute nonetheless. So we're going to open them. We're going to start with this blue and purple. Okay, so you see it's like a lollipop and it has cartoon tapes. So that's what it is. It turns out that that's what it is. And as much as I like the packaging, 
I got to get rid of them. I'm going to turn it to the side. I am making sure that I see for myself all ideas. Like it has a step-by-step -step diagram here. Step one, there, um, you're painting the nails. Step two and three, you're putting decals on through step four. That's what it looks like. Now you probably put a top coat on it. So yeah, they got it. I don't know. I would say it's trying to look like a book. So we're going to open it up. It's called Rock Beauty. And they have a website at Rock Beauty slash London dot com. Keep your nails rocking out. Now where I got this was from Walgreens. You know, during the Christmas season when everybody, I think it was Walgreens. It was Walgreens or Walmart. During the Christmas season, when everybody put out all the novelty stuff. Yep. After Christmas. <laughs> I go get them when they're like 50% off. So, I tell you, this packaging is still beautiful. This color is just rocking. I mean, I really do want to keep it. But like I said, I, got, I need the space. Plus, I'm planning to move it. So, oh yeah, this on here. it says Walgreens, so I don't have to doubt Walgreens for ten dollars, and I undoubtedly got it for five, if not less. So, I'm trying to see if anything is moving. If it's dried out, the beautiful thing about these kind of things is if they dry out, you can um, you can. Just put a little drop of nail polish remover in them and revive them. So, you see that big container? Beautifully sold and packaged, took up all of that space. And it didn't really need all of that space. Now, I really would like, and I'd probably have some somewhere. Oh, I know. I do. I do. I do have somewhere to keep these. <sighs> I've been looking for a reason to use my little simplicity. And my little zoology, little capsules that I got in the Hobby Lobby haul that were originally $3.99. I got it for 99 and I always give myself a lot, but it's less than three ninety nine. dollars So anyway, <laughs> I'll put this, this is all going to the trash. And so these slide open, and um, I have managed to just let these run wild. You know, I don't know why I was thinking they were metal. But they're not. Well, they may be. So, like I said, the uh, my objective is to conserve space, and my objective with this video, even though I hope you watch it and enjoy it is to preserve this picture that I won't get to enjoy anymore. Except through the video. So it's kind of like a record keeping of the things I've bought and enjoying, but you know, I just can't keep everything. My husband is excited that I'm getting ready to make more room. Plus, like I said, if I move, I don't want to carry a whole lot of paper. Just paper that I could have thrown away, per se, the boxes. And I need to use all of this stuff because I've bought it to use and I'm going around bare nail. I mean, I could at least paint my nails, huh? I usually do my toes, but it's the time of COVID. So I've been at home not working, so I haven't done that. So this is the pink... And yellow manicure bar. 
This is a sample a rock beauty manicure bar. A sample a sample a taste of nail heaven. Oh, let me put that in there. It says the pack includes, which I didn't say before in the other one. Two designer nail wraps, alphabet appliques, one pair of tweezers, two three-way nail art one with appliques. And again, step by step, one, paint your nails, two, continue to paint all the nails, and then three, you put your decals on. Rock out your own individual looks over and over again till you run out of product and buy more. And I guess that's my thing. I just don't want to give them up. So like I said with the video, it's helping me hold on, yet let go. <sighs> yes, I feel just how I sounded. I don't want to let go. But I have to let go. I don't want to, but I have to. Okay. And so you see, well, I guess I didn't explain with either one. I didn't let you or myself do a lot of looking. So like I said, if these here are not, because they haven't been used in a while. <laughs> they haven't ever been used. But it has to polish up there and all you have to do is just put a little nail thinner in it. And like I said, not half, not a quarter, just a drop or two. You can use a medicine drop or if you're careful, just a pour a little in. But see, here's the decals, little stars. Look like a stars, yeah, butterflies. <sighs> I'll tell you. And this one, little heart, little pink iridescent hearts. This one has pink iridescent stars. And this one has white, well, I guess just um, larger size glitter. Again, I got another set of tweezers. I'll just let this hang out there a little, just because cause they, they can. Now I'm probably going to put these on my daughter's hands, because, well, she's a child and she might like these whimsical I mean I like the whimsical that's why I bought them I don't let both of them I don't want my youngest to think I don't love her in that way because I think she gets a little agitated when we say that her older sister hands are beautiful and she has beautiful hands too I don't I don't but both of them hands look better than mine but I don't want to get in the parents get pairing game and if you have siblings <laughs> or children, you know what I say when I say I don't want to get in the comparing game because they both have beautiful hands. And they both are very smart and talented and pretty girls. <laughs> they say when you don't say pretty right off, that, that means the person isn't. But they're my children. They are definitely pretty. <laughs> Yes, I did toot toot my own home. Alright. So I moved this out of focus just because I didn't want to rock the camera. Because I'm on, my hands are on either side of it here. And I'm just trying to dig these decals out of there. Yeah, I got some plastic bag I was going to put it in, but that might be a little difficult to get them out. Not really, but you know, just a little. Then, see? All of that packaging for that little stuff. For this little amount. I don't mind. Like I said, I like it. The point was I was supposed to have used it by now. But the truth is, I just haven't. Okay, so which one out of my set I want to come to next? This one. I've been threatening. Just threatening. To use it. It's been upstairs. 
on the bench at the foot of my bed, underneath the sink, just everywhere waiting to be used. I haven't used it yet. So beautiful. Okay, well, I did get that one out. And I think that one was silver. And I'm looking for it because I want to put some more on my toes. And tomorrow will be a good day. It comes with five nail polishes. They're 0.17 flow ounces or 4.9 milliliters. It comes with a base coat and a top coat. That's what it says. So I guess that was what's missing. Oh, that would have been up there. One nail decorator wheel. And see, if I had used this other thing, I had room, I could have put them in there. But I don't have one that's empty because I haven't used any of them. And it comes with, and it has 240 pieces in there. And it has a pick and place tool, which is not tweezers. It's a pick and place tool, which normally if you were at um, a manicure's, you would use an orange wood stick and put a little glue or a dot of your top coat, really your top coat and put on there on an orange stick. So it's kind of doing that. Or if you do diamond dots, it's like that stylus. So what this one says is, hey stud, AP DIY nail design kit. And stud meaning because they got the little um, studs inside the kit. So they're telling you, and I'm doing this for posterity's sake so I'll remember, that you first paint, then you pick in place, then you press, then you seal and let dry for 15 to 20 minutes. Which means really a whole day. Can't do anything else that'll interfere with your nails. Okay. And when it says um, you paint on clean dry nails, one coat of base coat, one coat of base coat and two coats of nail polish. That's about right. Pick and place nail decor on top of wet nails. Yep. Press nail decor gently onto nails. Finish with top coat, let dry for you. So it says, no nail decor is a novelty nail accessory and is intended for temporary wear. To remove nail decor, use a regular nail polish remover. Now I'm not going to read what's in the ingredients. No do y'all care. What I am going to do is again show you what's on the picture. And we're going to determine, can this picture be replicated with the items inside? Even though I'm not going to do my nail, we're just going to look at the product. Because I'm going to do a lot of videos and opening and closing it. All I'm going to do is just smear it. And what I can tell you though, is if you really want nail polish to last, you really need to get, what do they call this stuff? It's called, um, OPI makes it, but I think they sell a brand of it now at, at, at Sally's just because, you know, OPI is in Sally's Beauty. But it's like, um, you get it to um, neutralize your body. And I'm just going to tell you, those things really do work. I'm trying to find one. That's why I'm probably sounding like I'm looking away. It's because I am looking away, trying to find mine to tell you what the name of it is. I bought a big bottle before. Silas was in. Had OPI. And I split it with my mom. She liked to paint her nails. And she has beautiful hands like my daughter. Okay, so see again, we got all of this packaging. This beautiful packaging. And that's why I've kept them so long. So I love the packaging. And then I said, well, you know what? If you really love it, you want to look at it. But you know you really need to use them. Because these aren't going to last long. If you really want to use them, go on and use them. And... Take a picture of video. YouTube. You can put it up anywhere as long as you got your codes. So. Can we reproduce this? This first nail with the index finger? Yes. It has that red. It looks like it has a little of that gold on there. And it has the decals. So this one. Can be reproduced. This second nail, the middle finger, can we reproduce it with what's in the kit? Well, we do have the red, 
But that black, it looks pink, I know. It may look pink, but it looks pink through my camera, even though that looks red, but it's red. That's a deep red. Um, that black is not in the kit. So you're kind of going to have to have your own black. Okay, the other finger. That purple is not, neither, <laughs> neither one of these. I don't know, maybe they're saying, are they trying to say this is black or the purple? Mm. Either way, you got one, but you don't have the other. And there, if you have that, you don't have the black. But you got the decals. Let's see the value of this pick and play too, because I did open up something. What did I open last night? An ink kit that I did a video on. Well, no, did I? I had done a video on it a while ago. Anyway, um, it had an orange wood stick in there. And I'll tell you, yeah, I've kept it around a little while. I know I'm supposed to put something on there, so anyway. But it, it's going to work. If you put wax like a, if you need it for your diamond dots, or this here. Just put a little wax or a little nail polish or something on the tip, and it is going to work. Those are going to work. Everything's going to work. But you may have to go and... Like I say, get a few more things to get that exact look. But I'm still all right with that because, as you all see, it was five dollars. So I mean, I didn't lose anything. I guess by using, but like I said, I just put a little remover in there, and I didn't pay five dollars for it. I didn't. I definitely probably pay two fifty at the most. <laughs> I'm going to do a comparison. We're going to do a comparison and contrast of just how much space this is taking up. I was going to do a um, just a little demo of how much space was taking up on the little shelf I had set up for it outside. But I was like, oh, that's too much moving. <laughs> too much moving around. So we're going to compare how much space I've made. This is, uh, yeah, that's from Nose. And go back in now, pick that up. Okay, again, this was five dollars originally, but I, you know, 50% off on everything, unless it was at a discount store like Ollie's, which is coming up. Okay, so this is called Color Craze Botastic from LA Colors. It includes five nail polishes one, two, three, four, and five. Again, they're gonna need some thinner. It comes with one nail decor wheel Ta -da, with 12 flashy nail bowls. That's what the nail wheel says. One pick and place tool. Oh, I got two pick and place tools. And it comes with a bonus base and top coat. So it's an eight piece DIY nail design kit. And here are the designs. So we're going to look and see if we can replicate. The looks that they have on this packaging. Again, paint, pick and place, press, seal, and let dry. And when you're letting it dry, you know they got all kinds of fans. I got all kinds of fans, and there are all kinds of available out in the world. I'm going to show you this one I got from Sally's. It's supposed to be professional grade. When I got it, it was $34.99. I don't know how much they will be now because I've had them for years. It has two heat settings. It's perfect for manicures and pedicures. Well, I say it's, it's um, commercial grade, but it's probably like, you know, for the little bit I do. And I did have it in my salon. Not just one, I had two. You know how you have to do. And they work well. And then my girls, they got little bitty ones because people know I like that kind of stuff. So they bought bought some for my daughters. And oh, I would keep trying to tell them, don't polish up in, upstairs in the bedroom. I've had to get nail polish out of the carpet. And no, it wasn't a one-sitting thing. I, I should have put some thinner on that. But I would do the Clorox. The shaving cream. All of that. Eventually, I got it out. And when I say eventually, because I didn't consistently stay at it. I just every now and then did a little bit until I got it out. So anyway, it was five dollars. 
I'm taking it off screen just so I won't um, shake the camera. You think I probably would have opened them prior to, but I didn't. I didn't think to do it, and I would have been thinking, why didn't they open them prior to getting the camera? So I'm going to pull this real close so you and I will see how cute these little, look at the polka dot nails. And so cute, pink and black, clear on black, black on clear, purple, pink and blue, pink, hot pink. So cute. The nail polish, this is like the silver. Eh, I don't know what shade of blue. I would say aquamarine just because that's my birthstone color. <laughs> Bubblegum pink. Eh, I don't know what that is, but this looks like it's black. Alright, so let's see if we can introduce these looks. Pink with silver. Yeah, probably if you put a black tip under it. Those would probably work. That with the silver. Yeah, and then that silver. You probably, to really get it to look good, it might work. And then you might need to put a black or something under it. I'm going to see. I'm just going to see how good of coverage it is. Ooh. I'm going to put the one coat on and give it a little chance to hang out. And then I might just keep this out and do it a little bit later. Because see, the coverage on it right now is probably not bad looking. But it's not that. So, oh, I forgot to put, take out my bonus. <laughs> Thank you. But whoever you were that was saying, hey, don't forget to get your bonus face and pop coat. Thank you. Because <laughs> I know I'm talking to people in their videos when they're doing certain things. I'm like, hey, don't da 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 da. All right, so like I said, this was from Ollie's. And so I didn't get it 50% off because I only paid $1.99. Can you see that? It was originally $10.99 somewhere else. And it's called Bunny Marcus Collection. It has 48 nail wraps pattern nail file and a step-by-step -step nail design book then look at these let's take a closer look oh we can take a closer look this way 